hello guys welcome back to my channel on today's video we are going to be painting and with an e using my jelly gouache so this is the sketch i made before i started filming this video so this whole painting um took like eight to ten hours to paint it did take a pretty long time i've been speeding up speeding it up to the best of my abilities and i made it 16 minutes long so i'm going to be talking a bit about this tv show series i don't know and with an e because i really loved it that's why i decided to draw it because i have not done um i have not done a fan art so far this is my first one so this shows you how much i loved and with an e and i'm so sad that netflix is not really in it like why <laughs> like they renewed riverdale like riverdale they renewed it like five six times i don't know and it's still so useless but they cannot give me a season four of and with an e so basically and with an e is just like and um, it was made in the like 19th century I think so Anne is an orphan her parents died when she was like two months old and she was in the orphanage and stuff so I'm going to give you a disclaimer right now if you haven't watched Anne with an E I am sorry so I'm not going to give too many spoilers so that I don't spoil the TV show for you even before you watch it because I do want the people that haven't watched it to watch it because I loved it so much and I hope you guys will love it too so basically her life kind of changes throughout the TV show you see a lot of um, character growth and um, she really becomes a better person in total there's like character development on like other TV shows like Riverdale that there is no character development and all the characters are just very blank and emotionless basically even if they do have emotions they just don't make sense at all so yes like when I'm talking in these voiceovers and stuff I say a lot of ums and uh cuz like I don't know why I'm still a bit um uh, not used to talking in the videos that's why I'm very unsure what to say but I can assure you I don't say ums and uhs all the time when I'm talking in real life so I just had to put that in there cuz I know it can get a bit annoying so I'm sorry <laughs> okay all of that aside let's get back to the video <laughs> so i'm going to try and stop criticizing riverdale too much because i don't know if there are some riverdale fans out there so i'm sorry to you guys anyways let's talk a bit about the art so this portrait or painting of anne it was done using my jelly gouache as you saw in the beginning of the video i was taking some color from the pots and these jelly gouache paints have grown to be one of my favorite paints ever like they're better than watercolors and they're easier to use than acrylic paints so basically they're just amazing i absolutely love them that's all i have to say and the texture is just gorgeous that's all i have to say it's amazing so the colors just apply on there really nicely and like the they're so vibrant that's why i love them even more like i love the color selection so as you guys can already tell i do not have a microphone i use my earpiece to do these voiceovers so that's why the quality is pretty poor but what can i do i don't have money for a microphone so we move anyways the gouache paints were gifted to me by my older sister on my birthday and huh, thank you so much i still love them so and like i still remember every day that she gifted it to me and like i'm enjoying it so much so please you guys give your siblings nice gifts on their birthday thank you very much so i'm just gonna have to pop in here and tell you how difficult this dress was to paint 
there are just so many i don't know shadows and the i don't even know what to call them i honestly don't even know so you know you know the the in and the out you know where the fabric bends um uh you know you know what i'm talking about you know the darker parts and the lighter parts of the hand and stuff i honestly don't even know what i'm saying anymore but you know what i mean right i hope you do <laughs> anyways it was so difficult to paint i took so long painting that that dress so you guys appreciation for my hard work in painting that dress I had to leave it for some time and move to the hat because it was getting boring, you know. It was so frustrating at some point. But I still pulled through, you know. <laughs> I did. Okay, so let me tell you guys a bit more about Anne. Her full name is Anne Shirley Cuthbert, and she she's like very imaginative. She talks a lot. She really talks a lot, and like it's all due to her imagination and all the storytelling. And I wish we had a season four so that we would see where Anne's life takes her maybe she becomes a story writer a poet something nice you know but how sad
So finally, after hours and hours of hard work, I finished the dress and I added all the details and the umbrella and everything and I was now moving to the background and I put this really ugly pink color for the background because I was too lazy to do the background. But there was no hope, I just had to do the background. So here's the picture I was using as my reference. This is Anne on the last episode of Anne with an E. And yeah, so now you guys are going to be seeing the picture for a bit and see how I actually try to replicate the background because like, I'm very impatient and you're going to tell from how I do this background, you are going to tell you're going to see how impatient I am when it comes to doing backgrounds. I honestly hate doing complicated backgrounds. I always avoid references that have such backgrounds, but because this is Anne with an E, I just had to use this reference. So yes, you guys are going to watch me struggle and pull through painting this background and hopefully I am going to do it right. Here I am still struggling with this background. It finished so much of my white paint, I cannot express how much of my white paint this background ate. I am so sad. Anyways, I have noticed that I've gotten a bit more comfortable doing this voiceover and I'm saying less ums and uhs, you know. I'm pretty happy with myself to some. Yeah, I am. Anyways, as you can see, I am doing something that is really not required. I just added that color at the bottom for no reason at all because I didn't know what to do with the bottom and I just put this blue line that was completely unnecessary. Anyways, I did that and I thought I was done but I wasn't satisfied with the results so I decided to add the trees that were present there Whew, I just have to say the background was really stressful at this point I was painting standing up like I couldn't even sit anymore because I was tired I just wanted to paint it and finish it and get the hell out of that place because I was tired I was exhausted it was like 11 p.m. or something like that like come on 
like you guys have to see all that I'm doing for you guys you know like this is a lot of work just look at that fence like <laughs> just look at how ugly it looks I'm sorry okay so now it's time for my signature and we're done goodbye guys love you